Hello. In this video, we are going to examine an electrochemical titration of iron 2 plus ion by cerium 4 plus ion. And here is a, a sketch of the experimental setup showing the cerium plus 4 in the burette. We see the iron 2 plus in the Erlenmeyer flask. And then we are going to monitor the voltage with an electrode. Here we look formally at the redox operation. We see the reduction of iron 3 plus 2 plus has a standard voltage of 0 0.77 volts. And the reduction of cerium 4 plus to cerium 3 plus has a standard voltage of 1.61 volts. Since the cerium has a larger standard reduction potential, that tells us that cerium 4 plus is a stronger oxidizing agent than iron 3 plus is. And therefore, in this reaction, cerium 4 plus is going to be the oxidizing agent. The net reaction is going to be the reaction of cerium 4 plus with iron 2 plus to give us cerium 3 plus and iron 3 plus. Cerium 4 plus has a yellow color, whereas cerium 3 plus is colorless, as are the iron ions. So, in the beginning of the titration, up until the equivalence point, all the cerium 4 plus that is added is going to be reduced to cerium 3 plus. So, the solution is going to be clear up until the equivalence point. Once we get to the equivalence point, all the iron 2 plus has been oxidized to iron 3 plus, so there's nothing left to reduce cerium 4 plus 3 plus. So as we add cerium 4 plus, it stays as cerium 4 plus. And we notice that the solution will maintain a yellow color after we pass the equivalent point. Here is a general sketch of the plot that we get of the voltage as a function of the amount, the volume of the cerium 4 plus that we've added. And we notice that it has a inflection point which looks very much like the inflection point we would get in an acid base titration. Once we reach the equivalence point, the amount of iron 2 plus is zero because it's all been oxidized to iron 3 plus. The amount of cerium 4 plus is also zero because it's all been reduced to uh, cerium 3 plus. And we notice that the concentrations of iron 3 plus and cerium 3 plus are going to be equal if we start off with equal concentrations of the iron and cerium. We can use the volume uh, information of the amount of serum we added to calculate the concentration of the perhaps unknown iron 2 plus solution. But in addition to that, we can uh, calculate the
the effective voltage of the reaction between cerium 4 plus and iron 2 plus, and this works out to be a weighted average of the standard reduction potentials for the iron 3 plus, iron 2 plus, and the cerium 4 plus, cerium 3 plus couples. Two important points that we want to note are the equivalence point, which we see is around 25 milliliters here. And then we're going to look at the half equivalence point, which is 12.5 milliliters of cerium added. The half equivalence point V over 2 is important because at this particular location, the concentrations of iron 2 plus and the concentrations of iron 3 plus are exactly equal because we've uh, half oxidized the iron, the initial amount of iron 2 plus, half of it's been oxidized to iron 3 plus, and half remains as iron 2 plus. If we look at the Nernst equation for the iron 2, iron 3 couple, it involves one electron. That's why we have divided by one. And at this particular location, the log of iron 2 over iron 3 drops out, and we're left with that the voltage is equal to the standard reduction potential of the iron 2, iron 3 couple, showing how we can determine this particular value experimentally. Not only are the equivalence point and the half equivalence point important, but in the electrochemical titration, the twice the equivalent point is going to be important as well. And here we see that it's to the right around 50 milliliters of added cerium 4 plus. Notice at the equivalence point, the volume V, we've added a volume of V of cerium 4 plus, which has all been reduced to cerium 3 plus. So we have a volume V of cerium 3 plus. The additional amount of cerium 4 plus did not get reduced. So that's the distance from V to 2V, which is an amount of V, is the quantity of cerium 4 plus. So at this particular 2V twice equivalence point point, the concentrations of cerium 4 plus and the concentration of serum 3 plus are identical. We notice we can find the actual voltage by using the Nernst equation for the serum 3, serum 4 couple. It involves one electron. That's why we have the division by one. And at this double equivalence point, the concentration of cerium 4 plus is equal to concentration of cerium 3 plus. So therefore, the voltage that we measure in the titration is going to be E naught, the standard reduction potential for the cerium 4, cerium 3 couple, showing how we can find that experimentally as well in our electrochemical titration. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe out there. And as always, have a good one.